back to the Chanel, my YouTube family, my G4 family. And in today's episode of Beginner's Guide for Insurgency Sandstorm, we're going to have a look at night vision goggles. Yes, there are some night missions in Insurgency Sandstorm. And um, I'm going to show you what you need to do to get set up and be able to see in the dark, which is very important. Well, I think it is. Let's do it. So night missions are something that come up every now and again and basically um, you do need to have a class set up for them. Um, I would uh, highly recommend that you have night vision set up on your class. Some people can get by with using the uh, flashlight attachment on their gun but I do prefer to have a uh, night vision. And we're going to go through in a lot of detail just uh, the different types of night vision that you have available to you and also uh, the different uh, colors that you might have and, and just how effective they might be and you can make a decision on kind of what the right setup is for you. So you'll find your night uh, vision options under where your, your um, accessories are where you usually have your gas mask right here. Um, and generally there's two options now these will uh, have a different description depending on um, what faction you're running but pretty much they're both the same so we have the military spec NVG night vision goggles with limited field of view slow zooming down sight um, and you can switch them on and off with your D your left d-pad and then you have the soft NVG night vision goggles the wide field of view, slowing aim down sight, toggle on and off with the, uh, once again, with the D-pad. So, which one should we go for? Well, I'm going to put um, both of these side by side, so that you can get a comparison on uh, what the field of view looks like. Um, I do prefer the soft NVG, just purely because it gives me a wider field of view and that's what I, I prefer personally but play around with these you can see by the vision what they look like and um, yeah you can make a decision on what headset you want to go with to start with obviously there is a little bit of a difference there if you look at the the cost of adding them the, the soft NVG is a one more point that you have to spend but I think it's highly highly worth it so the next thing you're going to notice is the fact that there are um, uh, color options here in uh, when you depend on what you choose, what head sight set you choose. You can see the soft NVG night vision goggles have an extra um, an extra uh, option, and we're going to go through each of these one at a time and um, we'll show you footage and then I'll run them side by side and you can make a, a decision what's the best uh, for you. Um, I have got my preferences but um, we, let's go through them and um, you'll see exactly what they look like. I've tried to keep this, uh, I've tried to keep the footage as um, close as possible to the same route but um, yeah that's not always possible. Uh, that I'll sync it up. But let's start with Amber and then we'll work our way down the list. So a few things I'll look for is, uh, you know, how the lights flare, kind of how the shadow areas look, and um, basically how easy I can see the enemies from old eyes, which is it's not an easy thing to do. Need usually this guy either there or up to my there is up to my right there. And you can see you can you can see them with reasonable clarity. It's not too bad. It actually does give a reasonable amount of um, detail um, in the amber uh, option. Moving on to green now, you can see green feels a lot darker um, as far as contrast goes. It's not as bright. You don't seem to be able to see much. The lights seem to flare a heck of a lot more for me personally and um, yeah we forgot where we're going but never mind <laughs> probably get shot very quickly here but um, yeah green for me which is the traditional one yeah and I don't think it's as good as the amber personally okay so let's move on to the white phosphorus which is kind of bluey green color again it's pretty bright and um, probably uh, 
st- still not a little bit darker than amber, and the lights are kind of in between the amber and the green as far as how they flare. Um, it's this is the one I, I have been using. Um, I, I started using and was quite happy with, and then. Um, Mikey showed me uh, Amber and I've I've switched to Amber, but there is one coming up next that you might want to consider. But yeah, this uh, white phosphorus is quite good. I don't mind it. It does give you quite a good uh, viewpoint. Finally, finally, the multicolored option, which I have not used in game. I only started using it when I was doing this testing. And I've got to say, this is probably my favorite. Um, You can see it just gives you so much more information and um, yeah you, you, it's almost like it's daylight so I will be doing this in playing around with this one in game just to see um, see how good it goes but yeah I think um, for me this one actually gives me a lot more uh, a lot more of an advantage with my old eyes and um, probably will keep me alive a wee bit longer um, so let's run all four of those uh, side by side and you can see what you think is going to suit your uh, your preferences. Just quickly as we're running the footage and you can kind of sort of see them all side by side, I'm going to say, say that uh, the Insurgents class only doesn't uh, offer the multicoloured option. So you might have to limit uh, what you're using in that class to one of the three um, shown on screen here. It's a, it's, it's a bit disappointing because I do think the multicolor for me is what I'm going to be using from now on. And then secondly, if I had to choose for a, a second pick, Amber is certainly, um, I find for me at least personally, I uh, do prefer that option. So there you go guys, there is night vision goggles, um, get them set up for your classes and uh, you can choose what you like based on the information that we've given you today. I hope it's been useful, if it has, a like rating's always appreciated. If you have got any tips or anything that I missed in this video and you want to add, please leave a comment below. I always like reading your comments and we all learn together by sharing information. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time on Gaming for XP. See ya!